Tiniyak na ni Pangulong Ferdinand Marcos Jr. na isa ang paglaban sa climate change sa mga tututukan ng kanyang administrasyon. Si Alan Francisco para sa detalye. Nanawagan si Pangulong Ferdinand Marcos Jr. ng mas maigting na pagtutulungan para mapangalagaan at maprotektahan ng kalikasan. Sinabi niya ito sa kanyang pagdalo sa pagbukas ng 2022 Multi-Stakeholders Forum ng Department of Environment and Natural Resources. I know it's only a beginning of a challenging but most important task of protecting the only earth and home that we know. As your president, I assure you that our environment and our country's resiliency and adaptation to the new normals of climate change are on top of the national agenda. We ensure that the initiatives we will take will enable us to become smarter, more responsible, more sustainable in all that we do. Sabi ng Pangulo, magiging masukal at mahirap ang daan, pero dapat aniyang maging matatag at tanggapin na ito ay laban na dapat nating mapanalunan. In this collective fight, we are not soldiers. We are stewards. There will be no weapons to use, only behaviors and practices to improve upon. Victory will not come by defeating the visible enemy. It will come in certain moments when we can see that we are gradually averting a global crisis, that we have attended to the difficulties that our people will face because of the onset of climate change. Mapasa sa kamayaniyan ng mga tao ang tagumpay kung may malinis na hanging nahihinga, ligtas na tubig na naiinom at lupa at karagatan na napakikinabangan ng bawat isa. Inaasahan niya na ang 3-day forum na ito ay lahing mag-focus sa pagpapayaman hindi lang ng natural resources, kundi ng national wealth. Hangad niya rin na ang forum na ito ay maging oportunidad para sa gobyerno at private partners upang umaksyon. So let us join our efforts. I'm certain we will pass on to our children a country and a world that are in a much better state than they came upon. We are only custodians of this beautiful planet that we live on. Let us take that responsibility seriously for many generations that will still follow. Pinuri naman ni Pangulong Marcos ang DNR at si Environment Secretary Maria Antonia Yulu Loizaga sa pangasiwa ng naturang event. Nasa event din si na House Speaker Martin Romualdez, Labor Secretary Bienvenido Laguesma, Senator Cynthia Villar at ilang miyembro ng Diplomatic Corps. Sinaksihan din ni Pangulong Marcos ang paglalagda sa Memorandum of Agreement ng DNR at Department of Labor and Employment para sa lilikaing green jobs o mga trabaho may kaugnayan sa pangalaga at pagprotekta sa kalikasan sa ilalim ng tupad programang dole upang matulungan ng DNR sa mga planting, forest at coastal activity ng ahensya. Alan Francisco para sa Morning Show ng Bayan, Rise and Shine, Pilipinas.